Happy Hope here, and welcome. I am sorry for um, if you've missed some of me, but I broke my ankle um, at the beginning of December and have been um, kind of laid up and haven't been able to make any videos, but my sweet husband set me up um, a little space in our guest bedroom so that I could get in there a little bit better and film and craft and do all the fun things. And I immediately, the first thing I wanted to do was this. Now, I'm a member of the Ugly Art Club, which is a club founded by Dee Dee Katrin, Tiffany Goff-Smith, and Kristen Peterson, and the doors are closed right now for membership, but they will open up again, I think, in April. I don't know, y'all. I can't keep up with it. Um, follow one of them online, and they'll tell you when it opens up, but we have monthly themes in the Ugly Art Club, and for January, it is Stamp It, and as soon as I saw that was the theme, I knew this is what I wanted to make. I wanted to work with some shrink, shrink plastic and make charms. Now, what I showed you all at the beginning is a assortment kit from Shrinky Dinks. My favorite product in that assortment and what I tend to often buy is the Rough and Ready. Now one side of the Rough and Ready is roughed up and the other side is slick. So I like this because you can use a variety of materials on it um, like colored pencils on the rough side and um, it tends to work a little bit better than having the shiny side. I do recommend if you're going to stamp or draw with a, well, stamp or, I recommend you stamp with a permanent ink, like stays on or something like that, which is what I'm doing here. I have tried, I experimented, I'll show you a picture at the end. I tried a non-permanent ink and it does not work quite as well. Um, I also recommend Sharpie if you just want to draw on it. That works great as well because it's a permanent ink. Now I'm stamping here on the shiny side because I want this when shrunk to have a little depth to it. And I know I'm gonna add my color to the rough side. So I have just used one of my hand carved stamps, this fun little flower, stamped it onto, like I said, the shiny side of my uh, shrink plastic. And then I'm just cutting it out. Now, a lot of times I'll round the corners because when you shrink, you're still going to have those kind of pointy corners. And I'm coming in with an acrylic paint. I really wanted something metallic. I have this Arteza paint that I was gifted and decided to use this purple. I want you to keep in mind that this didn't work out near as well as like gold. I've got another gold one I did, but... I messed it up because I got a little bit of the gold paint on the front, on the shiny side of it. And when it shrunk, it kind of messed up the stamp. So be as neat as you can when doing this. You're going to see here, I'm going to paint on the rough side. I'm showing you there. That's the roughed up side. And I'm going to paint on this. It is going to be fairly transparent. The paint doesn't go on there. Super thick. And of course, my brush is still wet. Blah, blah, blah. Um... But, so I'm going to paint this on there. When you shrink it, that paint is going to condense. It's going to get thicker and more opaque. So if it's not super opaque when you put it on there, it's not a huge deal. Just, you know, an experiment. You get these whole sheets. Um, I recommend you play with this technique. Using shrink plastic is so much fun because you start with this kind of floppy acetate like material and you shrink it down and it's this hard plastic. Now it does shrink down to, and I can't remember the direct dimensions, I think it's like two thirds its own side size, excuse me. Um, you can use a heat gun or a toaster oven to shrink it down. Depending on what I'm doing is how I decide which which version I'm going to use. Since I was doing these one at a time, I just use my heat gun. So we'll get to that in just a minute. So I'm painting this on there and here in just a second, for some reason, I decide I also want to add the gold. And I don't remember why at the time, but I was like, you know, it'll be fun to add gold. But do you see how I moved it around on my surface? I was trying to keep from getting any of that paint on the front side of my shrink plastic because I didn't want it to obscure the stamp in any way. So I am going. So how is your 2022 going? Mine has been okay. I've been laid up in bed, like I said, with this broken ankle. And 
<sighs> dreaming of crafts to do, and this has been one of them. So I was so glad to be able to get into, even if it's just our little spare room, get in there and play a little bit. I also got a, an art journal page done, so I'm hoping to share that with y'all next. So yay! Hoping to, to get a little more content up for y'all when I can sporadically spend some time in there. I can't let my leg dangle too long or it swells up, but I'm doing what I can. So here's why I decided to add the gold on it, and it kind of took some of the that purple off, but it pushed it kind of to the outside. It's really kind of a neat effect on it. When it shrinks, it's not as prominent, but it's still very cool. Like I said, play with this. Make this your own. And I'm using stamps here. Like I said, you could draw on this or use colored pencils. Um, they even have some that you can put through your printer and print out things and shrink them. So this is just what I decided to do since that theme, like I said, the Ugly Art Club thing theme is stamp it immediately. It was like, I'm going to make some charms. So to turn this into a charm, I've got to add a hole. So I'm taking just a plain old, this is a Dollar Tree um, hole puncher and just punching a hole. I'm trying to make sure I get in a good ways from the edge because it will, as it shrinks, you can puncture that side while it's soft and um, make it unusable. So I was careful to make sure there's plenty of room. I hope you can see that hole there and that it's not too close to the edge. So I'm trying to make sure that my, I'm blowing on it and I've pulled enough <laughs> while I'm getting everything else. I'm, I'm blowing on it to try to get the paint to dry because I wanted this to be a fairly continuous video. Now what I'm going to pull in next is just a, it's, I think it's a 12 by 12 tile just from the hardware store. Something that will protect my surface because the table I'm working on there is plastic and I didn't really want to heat up a plastic table. So I've got my shrink plastic and I'm going to, I think I'm going to use a, yeah, that's like a bamboo pen. What I often use is like a knitting needle or a bamboo skewer or something like that just to keep the shrink plastic from blowing away because when you turn on that heat gun, it will move. Now the other thing you want to have is some kind of flat surface to flatten out your shrink plastic when it starts to shrink because it will get all kinds of crinkly and kinky and weird. So a lot of times I'll use the bottom of a drinking glass or a bottle, but I've got an acrylic, a snapping acrylic block, and that's going to work perfectly too. So now we can get started. <laughs> so I'm going to put my bamboo skewer thing through the hole that I punched and turn on my heat gun. I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see this really great. Um, I'm hoping, I didn't realize, see, I'm trying to get to the edge so you can kind of see. But you're just going to use your heat gun and move that around. Can you see how it's flipped there? Oh, it gets all kinky and crinkly and weird. And just heat it until it gets, it started to flatten itself out. Take your flat surface and flatten it. Boom. Just like that. And mine flipped over in the process. No big deal. But that's basically it. That is shrunk. It is all done. It's a charm. I can add a jump ring or a piece of cord or whatever and hang it from an art journal or on a piece of jewelry or however I want to use this fun little charm. So that's pretty much it for using the stamps on shrink plastic. I am going to show you some pictures. I've got where I use, oh wait, no, aha. Oftentimes I like to seal these. Now there's a lot of different things. You can use a Mod Podge or some kind of varnish or even nail polish, clear nail polish to seal these. For this one, I'm just going to seal the painted side with a little bit of Mod Podge. The pictures at the end when I used the, um, I used, tried to use some distress oxides on some of the black shrink plastic just to see how that opaque worked. Um, I used the varnish to try to seal one and it smeared and I used the nail polish to try to seal the other and it did better, but I was like super careful. So, and I did not seal the, you can optionally also seal your stamp side as well. Um, for this one, I did not because it is that permanent ink. So here you see where that little rainbow one smeared and you can see some of the other ones I did 
that worked out a little bit better. I had uh, one with a rose that I really, really like. So here's the one we just made. And I'm going to give you a picture of it and the, as well as the rose one that I really liked. I hope you like this. Let me know below if you have any questions. I appreciate you coming by and watching. Thanks, y'all. Bye.